日の放課後回答しようぜ。Hello, everyone. Welcome back for some more. Let's play Fate Grand Order. A new event has arrived. One that was foreshadowed. We did have,、um, when we were in the Saint Quartz Fragment Exchange, Mash was like,、um, Master, someone has left a calling card, and it's not Summer Camilla. And so it's like, Huh? Who's that? So. Uh, well, I mean, I know because we have foresight. It's him, Phantom Thief Amakusa Shiro.、Uh, is that a Persona reference? <laughs> It's actually legitimately might be. Call the Boys Collection. Look at the boys. Look at all these boys. I don't really care much about the Boys Collection cards, but that's fine. Hey! Hey! That's something we should do. Okay. So, I need to get my. um... I need to get my. my. my.、Uh, number, right? I'll go to copy and then do that. Okay, so let's, let's, let's go do that. Let's do that right now. Also, hey! Thanks for that. Hey! Thanks for that, random. Oh no, that's the thing. Oh, we got the CBC, the Canadian Broadcasting Channel. Nice. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. But first off, let's grab our code and let's do the survey together. This could be fun. I definitely have some things that I want to say.、Uh, so, first off,、uh, copy my ID. Apparently, I lost some friends. Oh well.、Um, saving those slots for、uh, IRL people. So, let's go to this. Let's fill this out. So. I do have some things I want to say.、Um, so enter your ID. Can I paste it? Oh, that's too many numbers. That's too many numbers. Can I. Oh. Okay, we're good. Paste. Okay, we're good. There we go. Nationality Canada. Please state your.、Uh, that I'm not in there, so I'm not applicable. Um, please enter your country or region of residence. I mean, at the end of the day, I am a Canadian citizen. So,、uh, for users who selected, wait, that's not me. I don't do that. Gender, I am male. My age, I'm in this range. My occupation, I am full time employment. How much do you spend per month on hobbies and entertainment? <sighs> <sighs> yeah, I'm about there.、Uh, smartphone per month?、Mm, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you, on average, some months I spend none, some months I spend more. How long do you spend on. <sighs> Wait, weekdays? Okay, weekdays. Days off. What do you look for in a、uh, smartphone game? To feel achievement. No, no, no.、Um, I need to forget. I need to enjoy. I love story. I need story.、Uh, to become an inhabitant of the world and experience the charm of the characters. Those are important. How do you obtain your info on games? Game strategy websites. Absolutely.、Um, I mean, I love people who record videos, they're great. Also, word of mouth. Talk to people. Um, I guess weird that they're going with five channel. Social media. I mean, yeah, social media is a good place. I mean, like, Discord is probably where I go. What influences you to buy smartphone games? Um, <laughs> Facebook. Honestly, seeing friends playing, being a fan of what they're made of, Um, an event collab? Yeah, those are things. When did you begin playing Fate Grand Order? Um, I began in. Ooh, when, when did I start? I'm gonna look this up because I'm legitimately curious. 
Fate Grand Order Part 1 Tanner of the North. This is meta as hell. March 2020. So closest is here. Part 2 Prelude. Why did you start playing? I was a fan of Fate. That is true. Um, that's it. I was a fan. How often do you play it? Literally every day. No, that's the wrong one. Every day. On average, how long do you spend? Uh, roughly an hour. That's the whole point. What are your favorite chapters? Pretty easy. Babylonia. And Sh Salem. And Shimosa. Oh, can I only choose one each? Honestly, out of all of them, I loved Salem because it was mostly story, and that's good to me. From part two onward, um, Sin was pretty good. Like, these were all really good. Honestly, Olympus was incredible. I go Olympus. Which events did you enjoy the most? How do we get one? Just, okay, so it's picking the ones I enjoy. Okay. So, A and C Breeze, eh. Call you boys, eh. Uh, Apocrypha, good. I like the revivals. Uh, that one, I mean, that one's fine. Um, Fate Requiem, yes. Fifth, yes. Summer, yes. Land of Shadda, eh. Shinsugumi, yeah. Uh, Revival Christmas, Nightingale, eh, nah. Yes, Void C. Uh, Amor was also fun. What do you look forward to? Plot, yes. Um, reward for effort. Difficult to pick up. Summoning, summoning's always fun. Summoning's fun. Um, learning with manga. Translation, original version, or English version, original content implemented in the past. Hmm. Peripheral developments outside of it. Translation's fun. I enjoy reading the translation. Uh, characters, yeah. What would you want to see improved? I have... Is it typing? Yes. Noticed that several key parts of the game feature egregious typos. I think it is fine in events and other lesser moments for it to be more lax, but in main story moments, it really takes me out of the action. There we go. How much information do you know about the Japanese version? Um, some knowledge of ongoing events and newly added servants. Have you ever left for over one month? I've never stopped playing for more than one month. Why did you return? I've never stopped playing for more than one month. It's quite simple. What do you think is good about Grail Fronts? Uh, the clear rewards, right? That's about it. I mean, they're fun, but I would like the... Um... The number of stages, or volume per stage... Eh, they're fine. I know they only come around every now and then. What are your favorite works? This is interesting, because we'll see here. Okay, so this is only... Okay, I was looking, because I'm like, okay, games? These are the only ones available in English. Uh, weird that ex... I think they mean extra for this. That's a typo. Because it's supposed to be Fate Extra is the one in English, right? Uh, I mean, all of these are great. Uh, the VR. I've not actually played the Today's Menu for Emya Family yet. I have it. And I will one day. Oh, select up to three. Okay. Let's go with... That's probably Extra, Fate Grand Order, and let's go with uh, the VR there. Or no. Let's go with Extella. There we go. Anime? Okay, anime is... Okay, definitely... Okay, Licked Nameless Girl, or no, Vow in the Sn- Oh wait, oh frick, in total for everything I only get three? Okay, Grand Order, um, comics, board games, oh this is tough, okay, let's go, okay so I mean, I, Babylonia, for sure, that's incredible, and you know what, I will go Vow in the Snow, Vow in the Snow is freaking sick. 
Uh, which related content besides the game is your favorite? Learning with manga, FGO, is so silly, and I really enjoy it. Where do you get information? Um... I'm gonna go with other websites, because it's mostly I get it from Game Press. Do you play any of these? No, 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 no. Okay, yes, you got me. You got me there. You got me there. Okay, you got me there as well. Other FGO servers? No, I don't actually. Okay, what? Uh, I do use Discord, Disney Plus, Netflix, YouTube. Yeah. Which of them do I frequently use? Uh, right now, Twitter, but I'm kind of cutting back on that. Hmm, that's... I don't know if I'd call that a social media service. I feel like it's a bit strange putting it there. I would put YouTube there instead. Do you use for communicating? Discord is number one, because I need to be with people that don't scare me. Uh, yes. Yes. The original PSVR. Yes. 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 Don't have Series X. Don't have that. Yes. What information would you like to see? Um, new information about events. Mm, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. New stuff about that. Localization? Absolutely. I don't need game strategy. Development members are cool. Interesting facts are cool. Voice talent is cool. Those are good. Which uh, ones did you enjoy? Um, I mean, advent calendar is always good. Illustration contest is fun. That's it. <laughs> the rest aren't that great. Um, what information would you like to see in the developer diary? More original content. Trivia. Untold dev stories. All right, those are good stuff. What information would you like to see in the Caldia break room? I want more interviews with illustrators, because I think that is interesting. Have you ever attended a convention? Uh, not one of these. They're too far from me. I've definitely never can, uh, done a virtual one. Um, uh, I uh, would love the FGO team to work with Aniplex to get the original visual novels brought over to the West. Which, on the Holy Night um, was great, even with a few typos, but simply being able to play it in English was amazing. Tsukihime Remake in particular is a great chance, and I hope... Oh, I'm spelling that wrong. Let's see. How did I spell that? Okay, whoop. Hope you can pass on that, um, we wish to play these games ourselves, officially. There we go. So, holy night. There we go. Send. Thank you. Huzzah. How do I get out of here? How do I... Do I just gotta... Do that? Alright. Cool. Nice. Where's my reward? There they are. Hassan. Get me some quartz. Get me some of that. Get me more qu Lots of quartz. Uh, tickets. Give me this. Alright. So we can get one of the Caldia... Oh, I did get one of the... Um, I, I didn't talk about it, but I did yeah. get one of the craft essences that are really good, which is... Not that one, but... Um, this one here. I got a target focus one. I used a couple tickets for it. It is worth it to get a target focus craft essence, finally. Um, just realized I gotta put that back on. Okay. Let's go to the shop. Uh, where do we use the thing? Is it... I guess we can only use it after. Wait. Period has ended. What do you mean? Strange. Um, 
Did I, was I confused? Do I need to go into the event to get that? I might have to. Let's see here. Because we got that. Um, when can you do it? Can only be claimed once. Okay. Yeah. Go to item exchange. One of nine. Okay. Login every day can be exchanged for the command code. Okay. Remove one NP strength up. That's good, actually. Okay, so I don't think I can actually use that. A new look for my room. That's hilarious. Because isn't wasn't Fire Emblem like three houses a big thing right now? Of course. Of course. Um, okay. SSR, Cafe and Flowers. Kahulin, Emya, and Kidgill. Adorable. Club Argonauts. Wow. Wouldn't have got that. Oh. What? That's not Jason. That's not Jason. Dante's Finn McCool, the Army of Dubney. Sure, sure, yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah, gotta have your round round table on ice. And he's sleeping as he as he skates. That's a terrible idea. Seriously, I'm in the Oni getup. Senji Murmasa. I didn't expect an outfit like this in this age brings back memories. Wanabe no Suna. He's a Mataraz. Uh Kaldia eleven. Oh. He's soccer. Sorry, I'll try to stop him. I'm not so weak as to be tossed around by the heavy tide to charge through. Of course. Choose your, you know, how much you love. Your boys. Whichever boys you like. Okay. Supreme place of learning. Caligula's a weird one. Caligula does... Caligula looks very young. But then again, Christian Anderson looks very old. It's, that's a strange one. Oh, it's Splatoon? Splat gun. Wow, Billy got epically owned. And I couldn't even tell that was a rash, I'm gonna be honest. Infinity Dream? That I couldn't tell that was I couldn't like Kinshi Huang, yeah, okay, it's tough to not see him. These two, I could barely tell it's them. Okay, so I swore that I could like use that but i guess not yet maybe there's a whoop maybe there's just a, a glitch right now okay well that's fine let's uh let's get started prologue shell sky soulless that's a triple s baby let's see how long it takes for the persona 5 reference to drop in game it's gonna but we'll have to wait the safe is old-fashioned the man takes out a stethoscope and places it on the door listening carefully as he slowly turns the dial. Sure, an auto-dialer would be easier, but they're much too noisy for his liking. Besides, he's always been a big believer in little things adding up over time. Three turns to the right at 74, two turns to the left at 65. And just like that, the first door is open. Next comes a lock. That's the easy part. All he needs for that is the duplicate key he stole. It's rare for anyone to maintain airtight security for decades, no matter how closely guarded a particular valuable might be. I see that, QWERTY. And with that, the second door opens. Now for the third door. Turn that auto off. This one requires a sequence of numbers and letters entered in the right order. A password. It'd be impossible to unlock if that password was comprised of a random string of characters. But a particular word selected to be both secret and memorable? <laughs> now that's a different story. The man recalls everything he knows about the safe owner's life. He knows his password must have been set decades ago, at the time the safe was purchased, and that it would still be the same today. He focuses. Who besides the safe's owner would have been present on the day it was bought and installed? The man takes a deep breath and enters his best guess with trembling fingers. He knows he'll only get one shot. Poop butt. It works. <laughs> the man carefully opens the final door, doing his best to keep his cool. And sighs. The safe is completely empty. No cash, no gold ingots, no securities. No encoded secret documents, not even artwork. 
There is not a thing inside to be found. The man stares at the emptiness for a time before slowly getting to his feet and looking up at the sky. Oh well, these things happen. It will take more- or, oh no, this is still the narrator. It will take more than this to make him give up. Even should his failures greatly outnumber his successes, he will remain undeterred. Instead, he turns towards his next destination, praying it will be different. He knows this journey will be a long one. <laughs> okay, the red and black is a little on the nose. Let's be real here. The red and black with the jazz? Anyways, hi. What's up? There's a reason arguments are prohibited here. Putting aside cases like Mr. Direct Current and Mr. Alternating Current, since they'll never reach a consensus, many servants have different views on religion, political systems, societal problems, and so on. I... You're right. I didn't know that we actually have banned conflict over that. Our views are inevitably influenced by the time and place we grew up in, and there's no single correct answer to any of these big questions. And to make matters even more troublesome, many of these views are inextricably tied to what makes us who we are. What I'm trying to say is, nothing good can come from crossing these lines. So it just makes sense that those topics would rarely come up. If they did, we'd be at each other's throats. Of course, between hot-headed fighters like the Celts and the Knights of the Round Table and the Greek Warriors, it certainly doesn't take much for squabbles to erupt into actual combat. But even in those cases, I do believe they're best to keep things professional, for lack of a better word, so as not to leave any lasting grudges. I see. Why do you ask? Is there something you're concerned about? Yeah, it's about Paris. Paris? As in Hector's little brother? Right. He had forgotten about this until recently, but it turns out he has the Apple of Discord thanks to his noble phantasm. Huh. Better than the apple of Skype, am I right? Waka waka. My QP's on the sheet being behind this. I snuck, or... Well, oh, what voice did I give him? Didn't I give him the... Like Apollo from Kid Icarus? Did I? I don't remember. I snuck it in because I thought it'd be good for a laugh, and I'd do it again if I could. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a Greek god. If nothing else, they're very, um, uninhibited. Then again, perhaps a less generous adjective would be more appropriate. Anyway, I was wondering what we should do about it. Huh. I can think of a few things off the top of my head. Destroy it, seal it away, or give it to someone for safekeeping. The first two would be easier, but I can understand if you prefer not to go there. Okay, they brought up the- okay, they brought up the Apple of Discord. What is that? Apple of Discord. What is that? The apple of discord is the core, the kernel, or crux of an argument that could lead to the bigger dispute. Okay. According to one myth, Eris, the god of, goddess of discord, was furious at not being invited to the wedding of Thetis and Peleus, took one of the apples and threw it among the guests. The apples was inscribed with the word to the fairest and caused mayhem around the crowd. Oh, so it's an apple that everyone wants and can make everyone argue. Okay. Sounds good. I didn't know about that. It's a new thing for me. What about the safekeeping option, then? I'd have to give it to someone extremely unlikely to sow any discord themselves. If you wanted to keep it with a Greek, uh, my suggestion would be Medea. She never comes up in this story. I'm quite certain she could handle a noble phantasm like that easily enough. Her actually agreeing to take it is another matter, though. Other names that come to mind include Georgios, Martha, and Jean d'Arc. Essentially, anyone with the title Saint can generally be trusted to have plenty of self-control. I see. But one person does seem perfect to me. Someone who will be sure to accept and who will do an excellent job of taking care of it. Really? Who? Are you talking about yourself, buddy? Oh. Huh. I didn't know you... Bouquet? Thank you. That was yummy. So, you just want me to hold on to this apple of discord? You don't mind? Of course not, master. I'd be happy to. But why me? 
Oh, that was my idea. I'm guessing you'll be basically immune to the Apple of Discord's influence. Oh, how come? Well... Oh, so you're in the cafeteria. I'm afraid we've got a minute singularity on our hands. Would you mind coming to the command room? Oh, yeah, got it. Uh, that sounds urgent. Okay, I'll go too. But I still want to hear what you're, you were going to say later. Of course, I'd be happy to oblige. All right, Master, shall we? Hey, hey, thanks for coming. Let me get right to filling you in about this minute singularity. First, take a look at this. We managed to get a pretty good idea what's going on in here. I mean, that doesn't look like our Holy Grail that we collect, but someone put one on display? It's actually in its solid grail form, too. How odd. That's true. Most Holy Grails consist solely of wish-granting magical energy and never take on any shape at all. Well, there was that time a Holy Grail essentially became a handbell back when Nightingale was Santa, but that was sort of the exception that proves the rule. It's so shiny. Do we have to bring it in for safekeeping? Well, yeah, theoretically. But as you can see, this Holy Grail is being kept on display like a valuable work of art. And we're not sure how to get around this security. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hey, you're just being kept in a glass case, right? So can we just break the glass and be done with it? Oh, and if you're worried about whether I'm sober or not, don't! I've only had a little morning pick-me-up. Just a moment. You already started drinking? Servant or no, that's not good for you. Ah, oh, you doctors are all such stiffs. I wish I could take a... I wish I could take a page out of your book. There's no need for... Wait, you do? Well, sure I do. But this rough and tumble way of life is all I've ever known. And just how I am at this point... <laughs> I suppose I can't argue with that. So, hey, Master, if you're heading out to repair the Singularity, Sans and me can come along if you want. Well, yeah, sure, that'd be great. Thanks, guys. All right, then. Let's do this thing. Agreed. I'll do my best to be as helpful as possible. Voyager and I will come along, too. Understood? Then Master's team for the Singularity will be... Jin Kei, Charles Henry Sanson, Amakusa Shirotoki Sada, and Voyager. This might be the most random assortment of servants I've ever seen. Is everyone all right with that? Yeah, I guess. Then I'll stay behind and be your navigator. I look forward to working with you all on this mission. This is the randomest assortment of characters. Is it just that these are all, like, ones that the writer was like, Yeah, I like these servants, we'll put them in. Like, uh, like yeah, Shiro's the one that makes sense, because it's, just, you know, important to have the Phantom Thief when we're dealing with the Phantom Thief, but even still... And also, I really hope that now that we have Muramasa, Muramasa can look at him and he's like, So, you already had a white-haired Shiro? And I also really hope that we get, um... I also really, really hope that we get, um... When, uh, in, in the far future, we summon uh, Rasputin. He can be like, that one confuses me. <laughs> All right. It's so on the nose. Oh my God. Oh my God. These things. It's wild that they can have an entire thing where everything in the background is a reference to something that's happened in the game. No problem with the ray shift. Place is packed. My transmission is audio only for now. I'm sorry. Your mystic code spell charms should make you all seem as though you're part of a normal group of visitors. I see. So then, we should be just as fine as long as we don't act out of place? That's right. So that must mean everyone here sees my sword as a walking stick or something. I don't see the Holy Grail here. It must be in a different room. That aside, there's something about this museum. Yeah... Definitely seen a lot of flashback material. <laughs> right you are, Master. If we were to conduct a summoning ritual here, I'd imagine we'd end up with a random servant. Let's see. Holy Grail, Holy Grail. I guess our first order of business should be to find out whether it's on display or if it's hidden away somewhere. Then how about we all split up and look for it on our own? Good idea. 
There doesn't seem to be much chance of a fight breaking out here. All right, I'll start over there. Um, not used to crowds, little guy? Not really. It's a surprise seeing so many people. Um, what should I do? Oh, not big on crowds, huh, Voyager? Here, why don't you hitch a ride on my shoulders then? Really? Yes, please. Oopsie daisy. Thank you. It's a little embarrassing, though. Don't worry, it'll only be for a little while. Alright, let's get going. All that aside, Master's right. There are too many relics here that seem like they could be used as catalysts in a summoning ritual here for it to be a coincidence. Plus, they're all lined up with no regard for their time period or country of origin. As far as I can tell, the only thing they have in common is that they could apparently be used to summon servants. Uh, I don't think I like where this is going. I'll check the permanent exhibits. Voyager and I are good here. In engage traction. Deploy. Master, why don't you and I go investigate this hallway? It seems relatively quiet. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sounds like a plan. All right. Let's all meet up in an hour at the forest we first ray shifted to. Good luck. Right. I knew it. Most of these paintings feature heroes, too. But there's no discernible rhyme or reason to how they're arranged. Look at this. They've got a painting of Heracles next to a picture scroll of Minimon and Oraiko and the four heavenly... I mean, maybe we're in the Berserker Hall? It's a real mess, isn't it? This museum seems to focus entirely on heroes with little regard to where they're from. Which, I mean, itself is kind of a cool idea to be like, you never know where you're gonna be. Like, it's all kind of mixed up. I mean, that, that wouldn't be bad. I can respect that in a way. Yeah, right? Uh, do you read me, Master? This is Mash. Neither Sensen, Jinkei, nor Voyager had any luck. So they all left the museum for the time being. Uh, then it would seem we're on the right track. Unless it's... Wait, then it would seem we're on the right track unless it's in storage or something. Huh? Huh? I don't see a nameplate on this one. Even though it's definitely an exhibit room. Shall we head back? No need. I think we just hit the jackpot. Come on. Yeah, there it is. There it is. That's a holy grail, all right. I'd recognize that immense magical energy anywhere. It seems unaltered as well. It's hard to believe they have it on up on display as though it was just another work of art. Well... Not just another work of art, they're definitely giving it some special treatment. True enough. Uh, now, how do we go about getting it? Master Amakusa, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Why do you ask? Well, the moment you entered that room, our magical energy sensors started going haywire. We may even lose connection. I think there's more than just the holy grip. Well, that was fast. Huh. I don't know what Mash was trying to tell us, but while we're here, there are a few things about the Grail I'd like to double-check. Excuse me, do you work here? You could say that. I'm the curator of this museum. What can I do for you? Well, rumor has it that this chalice you have on display here is a genuine Holy Grail. And I was just wondering, is it authentic? I'm just gonna say this. I'm just doing my freaking Nagito Komaeda voice for him. Because now that I've learned that Dantes is not Nagito Komaeda despite the look, that voice has to go somewhere. And I apologize if it's kind of wormed its way into Shiro. I'm actually a man of the cloth myself, or something close to it, so I can't help but be curious. Of course, I understand completely. Rest assured, you look upon the very chalice which caught the blood of Christ. Its presence here ensures... This museum will always be safe and secure. I see, I see. In that case, let me ask you this. While I'm sure touching it would be out of the question, could I arrange for a closer examination? I'm afraid not. We've had many similar requests ever since we put it on display, and I'm afraid there seems to be something about the Holy Grail that drives people mad with desire. The last time we let someone near, they quickly became so frenzied they tried to shatter the glass case. Oh, you don't say. Furthermore, the Holy Grail is a symbol of this museum. It's worth far more than any other relic we have here on display. As such a security detail has been given orders to kill anyone who gets too close rather than risk losing it. I see. Thank you. This has been very helpful. Not at all. We appreciate your cooperation. 
Oh, yes, one last thing. Have you ever considered putting the Holy Grail up for auction? The publicity benefits of donating the proceeds to help fight poverty, poverty would be incalculable. <laughs> Good one, sir. All right, Master. Since it seems we've been under surveillance ever since we entered this room, I suggest we take our leave for the time being. Huh? Wait, we have? Huh? What? Whatever you do, Master, please don't turn around. There are two servants in the back of this room. <gasps> I'm guessing the museum summoned them here. And of course, I'm sure they're both well aware that I'm a servant as well. So, what do we do? Uh, excuse me, you two. I don't suppose you mind showing yourselves? Who is it? That's too much to ask. Could you at least tell me your names? Shut up and get lost. I've got nothing to say to you. What my colleague said, we're just guards, nothing more. I suppose that's it, that then. Very well. Until we meet again. Creepy bastard feels like he just shoved his hand down my throat and grabbed hold of my stomach. I don't know who this is. You wouldn't have noticed us if you hadn't been so openly hostile. You need to learn to keep your cool like me. Shut up. Sigh. Well, at least now he knows there are two of us, right? Idiot. You didn't take a good look at his smug face, did you? That was the face of a smart-ass ticking time bomb just waiting to go off. One that blows up in your face if you try to mess with it, and at the worst possible time, even if you just leave it. Also, he already knows about the other guy. You can already tell this is going to be a pain in the ass. For some reason, I want to say that's... Dia Scurry. Hmm. I want to say, that's what I felt like from reading it. So, long story short, they have three servants standing guard. Two are in the open, one is hidden. I'm guessing the other two don't bother to hide their auras, just to make it easier to hide the third. Uh, how did you figure that out? Uh, they're positioning. Given where their voices were coming from, they had to be positioned in areas that would inevitably leave a gap in the Holy Grail's defenses. A hole? That's right. A gap that simply can't be covered with only two servants. If Master and I made a rush for the Holy Grail back then, uh, there's a good chance we would have gotten it, though likely at the cost of my own life. Wouldn't that be a problem for you? Remember, this is a Holy Grail we're talking about. Most masters are ready and willing to sacrifice their servants to attain one. Though, of course, for better or worse, our master prefers to avoid that whenever possible. Uh, I guess that's true. However, judging by how the other two servants spoke, they didn't seem concerned about the gaping hole in their defenses. The most plausible explanation is at least one other servant there with them. Hmm. Saying until we meet again may not have been the best way to avoid attention, buddy. <laughs> Sorry about that. I thought it'd be fun to see the looks on their faces if I said that. Well, hear the tone in their voices, in this case. You and I would have seemed to have very different definitions of fun. I see. I understand your personality now, Shiro. If something seems like it'll be fun, you can't help but try it. <laughs> I suppose you've got me there. <laughs> like trying to force everyone to ascend. To heaven. Causing the rapture. Wouldn't that be really fun? We're all like, oh boy. Huh. At any rate, it seems sounds like we're going to have to fight those other servants at some point. And we'll have to do so at night once the museum is closed and all the other patrons have left. Though, of course, once the museum closes, I'm sure they'll have a security system in place. We'll have to be stealthy rather than simply charge in. Hmm. All right. I'll conceal my presence and go check it out. That would be a big help, Jinkei. My own presence concealment is barely better than not having any at all. Hey, don't worry about it. You can make it up to me using that big, beautiful brain of yours. This is great. With Jinkei here, we should be able to find out what's going on at the museum. Master, I suggest you try and get some sleep now. I have a feeling this caper is going to take us all night. It really feels like we have a main character here, you know? And we're just along for the ride. Good night, Master. Sweet dreams. Feels like he's talking more than he did in the previous event. Alright. Now we just wait for Jinkei to get back. Every time... We, okay. Every time he, I, he comes on screen and I have to speak with him, I have to put my hand up just like he does. I don't know why. It's just part of how it is, I guess. It's called method acting. All right.
Good morning, Master. I'm sure you're hungry, so I got you something to eat. Oh, bear jerky. You brought this here from Caldia? No, I got it from a food stand in front of the museum. I already tried it, so I can tell you it tastes good. And there's no poison. Oh, don't mind if I do then. By all means, as for Jinkei, she should be back any time now. Hope I didn't keep you guys waiting too long. Welcome back. So, Jinkei, what did you learn? Here's a scoop. What do we got? Oh, we got lasers. Magical energy detectors went online about an hour after the museum closed. They didn't react to the security guards and demonic beasts that have been registered in the system, but I doubt any servant without presence concealment to say nothing of the master will be able to get around them. What sort of detectors were they? They were similar to a laser grid. They put up a whole bunch of invisible beams and the moment you break one, the alarm goes off. Ah, uh, simple yet devious. We might be able to get past if we could all use high rank presence concealment, but barring that... And that's not all. You know all those glass cases they used to display the exhibits? What about them? I took a closer look at them. Turns out they're not quite made of ordinary glass. It looks like they're reinforced using something like melted down octopulate crystals. I'm sure we could still destroy them if we hit them hard enough. The trouble is that to break them we have to hit them very hard. I see. Then we should assume that the glass case containing the Holy Grail is made from the same material. Which means we wouldn't be able to steal it, even if we could all use high rank presence concealment. That sounds very bad. They also have security guards making regular patrols and get this. They have soul eaters instead of guard dogs. What the hell are they thinking? You don't just slap a leash on those and call them pets. True, you'd expect the security guards to have been eaten alive. But again, maybe they just have so many magical energy resources that it's not a problem. I mapped out the patrol routes, but the room with the grail is completely sealed. It looked like the door to a bank vault, only it had markings from some sort of spell. I copied them down just in case it might help. Thank you, Jinkei. It should. Can you show it to us so we can analyze it? Got it. Here you go. Ah, uh, now I see. It's a time spell that only lasts until morning, but provides extremely powerful protection when active. It can only be broken with a spell of equal power. Ah, uh, figures. Wait a sec, it only lasts till morning? So what happens to the spell once morning comes? It disappears. Then they cast it again after closing the museum. It's not very cost effective, but offers powerful protection nonetheless. They are in essence rebuilding the door to a magecraft workshop every day. Anyway, all you really need to know is that it's a very sturdy door. Fair warning, Master. Once this lazy incident is over, I'll be assigning you some homework on the elements that go into spells like this. That's all from me. There you have it. <laughs> Just what I needed. More homework. <laughs> Cheer up, Master. At least we have a good idea of the situation now. So to get to this Holy Grail, we need to make our way past a lot of security, pry open a super sturdy door, and then deal with two, no, three servants guarding it. How are we going to do that? Sounds all but impossible. Uh, this is going to be fun. Fun? <laughs> Between the security guards, the magical energy detector beams, the incredibly tough glass case, and the servants acting as a last line of defense, this museum's security is absolutely riddled with holes. All we have to do is find a way through them. We should have no trouble reaching the Holy Grail. I guess there are holes here and there, but... I can't support that. Your plan requires five consecutive instances of us working flawlessly and being incredibly lucky. True, but I think I can pull it off. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Don't bother, Sanson. He's too good at keeping his cards close to his chest. Alright, everyone. Would you mind waiting here for a while? <laughs> Why is that, buddy? I'm gonna make my way in alone and in the modern parlance, get my ass handed to me. Don't say that word! Ares says I can't say that word. What? Oh. What are you talking about? I'll explain soon enough. In the meantime, I really need to go now before they suspect, suspect something. See you later. Yeah, she left. What should we do now? Should we go after him and try to meet back up? No, no, it's okay. Don't worry about him. He's trying to get captured on purpose. Oh, sneaky sneak. All right, then. Time to get myself captured. It even sounds like Persona 5 music. 
right? You hear the, the way that that sounds, sounds remarkably like it. Well, it's, yeah, it's formation restricted, only you. Yep. Why you got, why you got the soccer team on? Sea star, crit up. Sounds good. Okay. Again, remarkably silly. And that's how I like my fate events. I mean, this is the one for, for all the sexy boys to be, to be out there. Whoa. Sealed. Unable to use, oh. Oh, so I'm just freaking worthless right now. Very cool. What? That was the weirdest way a battle has ended. That was just strange. I've never... Normally they jump away and then you get the quest clear, but that absolutely did not happen. Absolutely not. Whoa there. Open fire! Open fire! Seriously? You're just opening fire? What all but the precious, priceless works of art here. Don't you lecture us. <laughs> I hate, I hate the fact that I can't read those first four ones where it's like, don't you lecture me with your $14 haircut. Don't you lecture us with the value of art, thief. <laughs> You've got me there. Huh. Damn it, he's gone. Find him. Don't worry about the Holy Grail room. There's no way he can get the door open. That's true, I can't. But I don't have to. They'll open it themselves, because they'll want to know how far we can go. Oh. Oh, just one of you? Oh, hey. We don't need to bother with introductions or anything, right? All you need to know about me is that I'm just your everyday suit. You can tell just by looking. Oh, I see. I so you won't even reveal your true name, hmm? You think it's just a cowardly you think that's a cowardly move or something? <laughs> not at all. I can tell you're a Japanese swordsman. That's all I need to know. You're a nasty one, aren't you? Pot calling the kettle black. Shall we get to it? I can't go home without a souvenir after coming this far, after all. It just wouldn't be worth the trouble. So you're here to sacrifice yourself? Is that it? Damn, that's cold. Must be a real slave. You must be a real slave driver, huh? Well, I guess it's a more charitable way of. Uh, I guess a more charitable way of putting it would be that he's focused on victory. Oh no, I'm entirely here of my own volition. I assure you. Now then, let's fight, shall we? Man, it's all really throwing me off my game, but oh well. Gotta work for that paycheck. Yo, he just like me for real. Yo, he just like me for real. In for that paycheck. All right, um, are we still... I should probably get debuff clear. I feel like that's a good thing. I mean, unless it's also going to be like, surprise, you're getting caught. Okay. <clears throat> Just a suit and a soul eater. All right. Yare, yare. Don't worry, I'm striking with the flat guts. Hey, not bad. Um, okay, so let's get... Um, decreased charge. I'm gonna hold on to that. Immobilize the servant. Yeah, we're gonna start with this. Why not? Cool. Oh, he has debuff immune. Never mind. Doesn't even matter, right? Immune to all debuffs. Okay. Start with this. I think it's my first time seeing him with this combat style, too. Debuff resist down. Oh, God. Oh, God, we're getting beat up. Dang. Okay. We good? All right. I complete... Uh, I feel... I didn't really get that we were still trying to lose, you know? Alright, that's enough. Ugh. So, 
What do I want to do with him, boss? Probably just better if I finish him off now, yeah? No, don't kill him. You're the boss, boss. Well now, that's very kind of you. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Caster, use the Holy Grail to seal his power. I'd keep my mouth shut if I were you. Oh, that's a creepy laugh. Don't worry, we're not gonna harm you. We're just gonna strip you of your ability to fight. You're gathering power? Why? What are you gonna do with it? Don't you know anything about museums? The sole raison d'etre is to collect. Am I right, Saber? All right, Saber, show him out of here. Uh, I still think it'd be better to finish him off now. But it's up to you. alley -oop. For my part, I hope you're dumb enough to try your luck again. Oh, and give my regards to the others as well, will ya? Are you still alive, Amakusa? It looks that way. I knew I was right to go alone. This turned out to be very informative. You can tell us about it after we get back to Master. He was pretty upset about you putting yourself in danger like that. Oh. I know we've had to send servants off alone before, but that call was never the servants to make. Well, for what it's worth, I'll do my best to smooth things over with Master. Thank you. And now, I can't fight anymore. Sorry about that. <sighs> the important thing is that you're okay. Now I feel twice as guilty. I really am sorry about this. It's not like you ran off completely half-cocked, right? You had a good reason you'd make it out alive, no? Yes, I was pretty sure that if all four of us went together, they'd be more inclined to kill us. But I figured that they would treat me with some proverbial kid gloves if I went there alone. I even guessed that losing my ability to fight would be one of the possible outcomes. At any rate, there's one very important thing I know for certain. Well, what's that? Well, certain may be overselling it a bit, but... I am reasonably sure that the Holy Grail simultaneously impedes its enemy's actions while enhancing its allies' capabilities. What's more, if anyone attempts to fight over the Grail itself, it will reject the conflict. As if that weren't bad enough, it grants our enemies an overwhelming advantage. I very much doubt we'd be able to win a fight under those circumstances, even with multiple servants. Maybe we'd have a fighting chance, pun intended, if... Wait, did you say pun not intended? Yeah, pun not intended, if our magical resistance was high enough, but that wouldn't help even with how it enhanced our opponents. Is that why you went alone? To see what we're up against? Yes. Okay, but now what do we do? Yeah, I don't see how we can help. It sounds like all we do is float around uselessly like space debris. <laughs> it's simple. If we know we'll lose any direct confrontation, all we have to do is avoid one. Huh? Well, yeah, I guess that's true. But then how are we supposed to get to the Grail? Are you saying we should just give up? Not at all. I'm saying we should steal it. Say what? It's not a very religious thing to say, good sir. Oh my god. Shut up. <laughs> it's just so silly. What? Oh, it's just showing the different people that are going to be working together. Sorry, but how did he become small? Oh no, it's just symbolism. It's not bad. This is not bad. I've seen better ones of these. Also the white. Yeah, it's meant to be a reference to that phantom thief. Voyager. There he is. Oh, because he's a giant camera. That makes sense. Jinkei. Oh. Suna and Shakespeare, huh? Alright, didn't think that'd be them. There's Mash. Mash is the woman in the computer, huh? Mordred's another one. I appreciate what they're going for here. Not bad. Not bad. I appreciate what they're going for, for sure. I see exactly what they're doing. That's fun. That's fun. All right. Well. 
uh, I actually have to get going and tomorrow I'll be doing some of these grinding on my own right uh, but tomorrow I will be going and uh, continuing this on my own uh, continuing the story so we'll see then for that guys for some more let's play Fate Grand Order ciao